Hey y'all, welcome back to Street Scores. I'm here with some breaking news. Michael Bennett has been traded to the Cowboys from the Patriots for a seventh round pick, potentially a sixth round pick. For those of y'all who don't know, his best years as a defensive end were his years in Seattle. He went to Philly. Philly tried to trade him out the division to the Patriots and he got traded right back into the division with the Cowboys. Which is crazy because the Cowboys and Eagles are both going neck to neck to see who will win this terrible NFC Least division by default. And that's coming from a Redskins fan. But basically how this came about, Michael Bennett wanted to leave the Patriots. At first it seemed like a good idea, but after barely being utilized in their defensive schemes and alignments, Michael Bennett only started one game with the Patriots. He had 33 defensive snaps in the first Patriots game of the season, and after that, it was just a <laughs> decline in snap count. He only had 23 snaps in the last two games for the Patriots that he played in. And after having some issues with some of the staff, he went off on some of them. At one point, he has finally gotten his wish. He is going to the Cowboys, and I honestly don't know how he's going to work in the Cowboys locker room because he's usually had some type of locker room issues, something outside of the football field, but we'll have to wait and see that one. With the Seahawks, and even the one year he played for the Eagles, he was able to get a nice amount of sacks. He had nine last year in 2018 with the Eagles, 8.5 with the Seahawks in 2017, but when the Seahawks were really good, he had 10 in 2015, 7 in 2014. 8.3 in 2013 and 9 in 2012. But so far for the Patriots, after six games, he only has 2.5 sacks and six combined tackles for a total one assist. See what had happened at first was. And you can see why he wanted to be traded. But now straight to the point, who do I feel like won this trade? I really feel like all four participants in this trade won this trade. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? One, you have Michael Bennett who was not being utilized as much as he wanted to in the New England Patriots defense. He'll go to the Cowboys and have a chance to actually show his true talents and have a similar second half of the season to this season as he had last year with the Eagles. His nine sacks with the Eagles last year shows he still got it. And under Rod Marinelli and Chris Richard, with the 4-3 defense, Michael Bennett actually should improve. He had nine sacks with the Eagles under a 4-3 defense. And now he's going to a Cowboys team who also runs the same 4-3 defense. And with Demarcus Lawrence, Robert Quinn, Malik Collins demanding a lot of attention, he should be blessed with only being blocked one-on-one -on -one most of the time. So that's why Michael Bennett wins the trade. Now the Cowboys win the trade because they're getting a potential at least second round worth of talent and they only gave away a seventh round potentially at the worst a sixth round pick you see the disparity right there in what they can potentially get and what they gave up and if he ends up playing like a sixth or seventh round pick worth the talent then all they gave up was a sixth or seventh round pick it's really a win-win for them honestly another good thing for the cowboys is that they will get bennett for one and a half years through the end of this year and the whole next year yeah. and then the Patriots won because they're just getting a free pick for somebody they were barely even using. They will continue winning games. I doubt they're going to go undefeated this season, but it's just hard to look at their schedule and pick who's going to beat them. Losing Michael Bennett will not change any of that. And then fourth, the person who I feel like wins the most is that future sixth or seventh round pick. Imagine it. I know the person who's gonna get picked there hasn't been picked yet, so we don't know who it is. He doesn't even have a chance to celebrate, but this guy will now go to the Ultimate Dynasty Patriots rather than the Cowboys. Too bad we don't know who it is yet, so we can't celebrate his name in this video, but somebody just got really lucky. Instead of going to the Cowboys, whoever gets drafted with that sixth or seventh round pick is now gonna be on the Patriots. So clap it up for him. He is the biggest winner of this whole trade, this mystery pick. Yeah, I just wanted to deliver y'all some quick news and everything about this Michael Bennett situation. Wanted to give y'all some stats, a little bit about who he is, where he came from. Just real quick, get my opinion on who won the trade, and we out of here. That's it for this episode of Street Scores. Make sure you go to Mike Fake, punch that like button. Definitely subscribe for more content. For all of my Redskins fans out there, I'm going to keep bringing that heat. We're also fans of other NFL teams and some college teams. I'm going to start consistently bringing content for that too. Whether it be a quick three-minute video or an hour-long video. Either way, I'm going to keep bringing that heat for y'all. Make sure y'all like, subscribe. Catch y'all later. I'm out.